Pisces, welcome to your summarized version of this 2020 annual reading. And oh my gosh, thank you. I, what, how, is it, how is it that you guys came last again? You know, it's like always Pisces at the end. And I took a vote, but it ended up that way. I guess you guys didn't, you know, there weren't enough Pisces voting for Pisces to come in ahead of it. It's just like, gosh, it's amazing how it always seems to work out that way. Thank you so much for your patience, by the way. And I'm so glad, glad to get this done for you um, because this will conclude all of my 2020s. So, um, you know, if you want to see the other signs, they are available here on YouTube and the in-depths on Vimeo. So... Getting into this reading for you, it looks like this is going to be a year of you finding healthy commitments, healthy give and take. Now, before you get too excited, <laughs> um, understand this is not going to be easy breezy, all right? Um, this is going to be through some challenges, and I am just, you know going to give you a heads up about the challenges um, and it's not at all to be a negative Nancy or a Debbie Downer right I'm trying to forewarn you to forearm you okay like for example I can see possibly a fallout by June okay I mean you start off this year really super positive but this first half of the year it's there's some Somebody is being stingy, somebody's being generous, there's one-sided giving, and it could lead to separation uh, and some kind of ending or fallout, and it might have to do with a, a boss or a father figure or an Aries or some kind of masculine energy. Does this have to be? No, because number one, let's remember, it's a general reading, right? We all know this now, don't we? But I got to put it out for the newbies. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's not a private reading, so some of, the, some of the messages here may resonate and others may not. Only a private reading would tell you exactly, you know, or more specifically what resonates to you and only you. The other thing you got to keep in mind is that you have free will. So, yeah, you know, um, somebody might want to fire you. I am not going to lie. Or somebody around you might you know, be on the verge of getting fired in, in June or put out of a relationship, okay? But you don't have to let this happen because I can see warnings all the way up here. If you see something's out of balance, if you see there's one-sided give and take, don't let it come to that, right? It's that simple. It doesn't have to culminate to, to this, okay? But now for other people who need to learn you know, some hard luck lessons about how to get equal give and take in their life. Well, they might learn by having a fallout and somebody saying, oh, the buck stops here. I'm not going to do this all on my own anymore. OK, so either way, you come out of that first half of the year um, finding more balance. And I think getting it, although I do see at the end of the year, some of you are still dealing with some toxic, unhealthy attachments. And a lot of messages on Vimeo with the Oracle cards about it. And maybe the toxicity here is some codependency because I do see Queen of Chalices in reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And this is somebody who's emotionally draining. They're codependent. They're not contributing financially, emotionally, possibly to a marriage, possibly involving a Taurus. But I do see a lack of commitment and someone trying to break free of restrictions and tradition and you know not being supportive and not wanting to be held down by the status quo it might involve an air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini um, but also communication style you know or a way of thinking uh, beliefs also you know with that higher event that are lending itself to this kind of emotional toxicity where maybe somebody gets off into some addictive behaviors as a bad coping mechanism okay but I do see with both of these cards a reluctance to commit to things that are healthy. And um, for some of you, it might be work contracts. I'm going to put that out there. I saw some work dynamics coming up for y'all. Job contracts. So be aware of this year, any kind of a job contracts that, you know, and I kind of saw that more so toward the end. I'll tell you more in a moment. But 
uh, getting into January, I see that you come in, you know, with a pretty good bang here where you're getting expansion, progress, forward movement. Although I do see possibly, you know, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius um, is a little bit apathetic because uh, maybe this person is waiting on their ships to come in and doubtful that it's going to happen, maybe feeling a little bit suspicious, like, when am I going to get this expansion? But overall, I see a lot of fire here in January for you propelling you forward. And then in February with a messenger of water, it could be you or another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, could be a romantic offer. And um, again, I'm seeing this kind of, um, it might be a job, you know, a contract for employment or something like that. Uh, but for others of you, it's just, it might be a, you know, a romantic offer where there's communications going on. Unfortunately, I feel that something being offered is not quite progressing. There's some stuckness, stagnancy, somebody is complacent. And again, might be that the issue of where the boredom is coming in, that what somebody's offering is too little, too late, and they're unyielding, they're stubborn. And um, so, yeah, it might be a romantic person and there's some curiosity surrounding them. But at the same time, there's some stagnancy. And I see it even especially in March where somebody's holding back, protecting themselves, not being generous here because of things in the past. Maybe somebody, oh, I got a lot of messages about this. Somebody needs to think of a different way to get balance in a financial situation, okay? And it might be that at this time during March, your only solution, your only strategy to break free of this situation is to be frugal and hold back. But I'm definitely seeing that somebody here is out of balance and I'm feeling that it's with finances it's with give and take in relationships. Somebody's being stingy. Another person is being generous. And I do see, you know, the following month, there's the generosity. And this is more about an equal give and take and sharing. But I see conflict surrounding the generosity. And maybe in a group, either a family dynamic or a work dynamic, where there's been some kind of separation. And it might involve a Scorpio. Um, it might be a necessary separation because there's a battle of wills about who's giving what to whom, when and why, okay? A lot of messages on Vimeo about that. But I see that this situation is transforming both of these months of April and May. And again, Scorpio possibly showing up, but there's a lot of change going on. And I feel a lot of very deep, intense Plutonian type of energy going on that it's some kind of instability because there might have been one-sided giving and somebody might just have given up and they're like, hey, I'm trying to get expansion in this situation and somebody's been feeling like they're bearing all the burden and somebody else is maybe letting them. And it might be in a work dynamic with a boss. It might be a family uh, dynamic involving a father figure. Um, or an Aries, okay, but somebody's getting put out of a home or a job because there's been um, a betrayal or some kind of deceit or a feeling that the breakup is just going to be imminent anyway. There's some kind of lack or loss financially or relationally. I'm sorry to say, but the advice is that you are going to have to get control of this situation like an emperor. You're going to have to do what you can to bring order where there has been disorder. I do think that by July, you are going to regain some balance in this situation that was very out of balance um, April, May, June, okay? And might have got kickstarted by somebody not being giving, all right? And that might have thrown everything out of whack. So again, forewarn, forearm, it doesn't have to be. Use your free will in this dynamic. It's a warning. It doesn't have to be. But if it has been, by July, I see fairness, accountability, balance, justice, maybe with a soulmate, somebody that you're in soul contract with, possibly an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
some of you may be getting a sexual offer coming in from one of these signs this month. Others of you very focused on the practicalities, getting loyalty and love, getting stability, security with your, your health, your well-being, your financial resources, some of you moving house. And it might be a karmic matter where you're having to put up boundaries, especially if it was in a group dynamic where unfortunately you had to lay down boundaries in June, you're maintaining them by moving away, creating some distance in July, and then with the chariot in August, you're moving on, you're progressing, and it might involve a Sagittarius or a Cancer or a Gemini, but definitely partnering with somebody, making a love decision to get some forward movement, to shift your love life in a better direction, your finances as well. I see that you have more than enough by this time to give to yourself and others. And again, with this lover's card showing up in um, September, it could be a Gemini during these two months that you're dealing with, or partnership love decisions heavily on your mind during this time frame. Um, maybe because of love news coming in, possibly involving, um, or property news, I should say money news coming in, uh, involving an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or possibly an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I do feel that some of you have opportunities on the table to partner with people with maybe a new job offer, okay? I mean, God forbid if somebody lost their job, I'm telling you, you better take a warning while you can get it, all right? Because if you let this happen in June, a loss of a job, it might not be until... September that you get a new job offer at which point you will have a lot of offers but I'm seeing the advice here is that you need to take the one that is going to offer the best return on investment over the long term not immediate you need to look at the bigger picture over the long term and you might feel like you're really under a lot of pressure to produce results or perhaps an air sign is coming across that way. But I think that you are making decisions for more security and stability. Possibly an earth sign here is relevant, but overall I think you're making the most of your assets. It could be that you're getting money from relatives or support from uh, family members or an inheritance or something. Uh, it might also have to do with your career uh, possibly an Aquarius is relevant and in some way perhaps this Aquarian or earth sign or family career is bringing some stability but I feel some of you have lost a bit of hope okay maybe given up too easily on something and maybe you were off into some wishful thinking about how you were going to get stability through a family dynamic okay um, or perhaps the air sign was, it will be different things for different people. But uh, by November, I do see a reunion and perhaps reconciliation, gathering, celebration, um, really a good time, uh, November for that. However, I want to warn you, somebody's in the midst who is got a very low frequency in terms of trying to manifest. They don't know how to manifest things authentically and honestly, and it might be a karmic lesson about give and take. Might be, again, going back to this legal issue or an issue involving a Libra or some soul contract. Somebody's got to learn something about give and take and, you know, boundaries um, about you've got to give something in order to get and somebody hasn't quite figured it out. Be careful about illusory energy during these last couple months of the year because I see someone not seeing something clear here about how to manifest. Some of you, this is simply, you have latent talents and clairvoyance, by the way. I talk more about that on Vimeo, but um, definitely meeting up with someone and reuniting, just be aware of that sneaky energy going on, a manipulative trickster type of energy, or just simply not seeing things for what they are, all show and not the, the whole truth, right? By the end of the year, you've got the devil uh, card, temptation. So 
for some of you, I really feel it goes back to this codependency that I saw at the foundation, you know, with the Queen of Chalices in reverse. Some of you, it's money issues that are keeping you tied to the past. It's, it's chemical um, substances, maybe food addiction. Um, oh, I definitely saw on Vimeo, don't, don't get off into that, okay, during June. All right, that's not going to go well with the energy. Um, I talk more about that. If you're into any kind of substance abuse, especially if you're doing any kind of um, <laughs> psychedelics, uh, you could have a very bad trip in June, if you know what I mean. Don't do it, okay? Um, but definitely by the end of this year, there is a feeling that maybe you are not in control of things and you're in some kind of bondage that you need to break free of. And if it's not you, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a boss Again, maybe a boss having to do with the industries of, you know, entrepreneurship, media, communications, things like that. But I do see a lack of closure here. And with this, there's something that, that somebody needs to integrate some kind of lesson on why they're not in control of situations. And it might have to do with beliefs that are you know, maybe they've gotten bad advice, you know, somebody in authority has led them astray. Um, and they need to think through and get a new focus this year with that uh, page of air. Let me see if I can draw any other cards for you, boat, money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall. Yes, yeah, see, I saw that. I saw that here in um, October with uh, you know, there's money coming through relatives or inheritance, and then there's April. Okay, what about April? I just want to know, what about April? Please show me. And I'm feeling this family sorrow. Okay, well, and what else? A fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Okay, I feel that there's some sorrow connected to, you know, this person. Um, but I do see money is going to come to you through family this year. And it might be, like I said, by October, um, I got a lot of messages on Vimeo about movement. If you're not moving house by July, then definitely there could be family members coming to visit you, okay, moving back, relocating. There's a change of residence issue going on in the second half of this year. If it's not you, it's a relative or someone close to you. Um, and coming back together, reuniting. I see a lot of themes of family, okay, with the astrology as well. So if you want to know more about, you know, the astrology, uh, the the other cards here, the the Oracle advice, it's on Vimeo. I'll have the link down below. And yeah, the advice is about the angelic protection that you are getting this year to get free from whatever this uh, toxicity is. And also to develop these latent talents I think you have um, with being able to hear more of Spirit talking to you. And then the divine doors that are opening up for you this year. It's all on Vimeo. Links down below if you want to join me. And until next time, I'm wishing you a very blessed 2020.